sing out tarot here with the monthly love scope for the zodiac sign of Gemini Sun Moon and Rising for the month of September 2018 let's see what's going on spirit and universe what are the messages you have for the zodiac sign of Gemini Sun Moon and Rising for the month of September 2018 show me Gemini Gemini, I'll be doing nine card spread. I'll also do a layover. So together it'll be 18 cards. If I don't hit your story with the first reading, hopefully I'll hit it with the second one, okay? Okay, here we go, Gemini. First card out, we got the Three of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, the King of Cups, Death, the Hangman, and the Two of Pentacles. Some of you are dealing with cheating, definitely. If you're dating a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, there is infidelity. There seems to have been a third party that interrupted this relationship. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. This could be the third party that interrupted your relationship, Virgo, Taurus. And then the last card is the Page of Swords. Overall, energy is justice. Okay. So, um, Gemini. Like I said, um, it kind of represents to me that a lot of you may be dating Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. It kind of represents that this person has brought a third party into your relationship. Whereas your partner usually is focused on you. I'm going to use my wand. This is a salient wand for those of you that are asking. Um, where your partner is usually focused on you, it kind of represents that their um, loyalties are being divided. So they may be paying a lot of attention to this Virgo or Taurus person. They have them wide open. They have their nose open, okay? Um, with the Three of Swords being there, it kind of represents that maybe this is not the first time, Gemini, that you have dealt with infidelity, okay? Um, also, I could be speaking to those of you that may be a Gemini and you may be dealing with um, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, and your Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus may have enter the third party and that third party could be a cancer pisces or scorpio all right now if that is the case if you are gemini and you're dealing with virgo taurus capricorn it kind of looks like to me there's a child involved in this situation with the cancer pisces or scorpio i have the death card here so it kind of represents that there is something that is coming there's something that's coming on the horizon it could be a divorce it could be a separation something like that something to a long-term partnership could be on the horizon we have a child here with the page of pentacles we also have the hangman with that queen of pentacles so that could like i said if you are dating the capricorn taurus or virgo it could be that a child has intercepted your relationship. Why? Well, it could be that some of you guys may be creating this with your mental. Also, I'm speaking to the Gemini that may have a lot of shit on your mind, okay? You've already, like, it's kind of like, you know, you know what the fuck is going on. You feel it. You may not have said much about it. You've searched this person's information and you see that, you know, motherfucker, you had a child on me. Or, you know, you're starting to not like what's going on in my house. You're not paying me much attention. There is somebody else. I'm feeling it strongly in my bones. I'm feeling it in my spirit. I feel like you're cheating on me. And that's true. It's true. There is a water sign that's involved in this situation. With the Justice card being there, I kind of feel like I'm speaking to those of you Geminis that may be married, legally married. And you may have been together for a very long time with that Knight of Pentacles being there, okay? Woo, woo, woo. Okay. Linda, look at that. I was trying to grab the cards, and we have the Ten of Swords that's there, too. I got to get the rest of these cards, so give me a minute, guys. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I had to turn the light on and pick up these damn cars that fell all over the place. Okay, let's see what's going on with you guys. Gemini. See if I can pick up some more stories for you. Okay, what's the additional messages for the Zodiac sign of Gemini? Okay, here we go. 
We have the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody could be pregnant or waiting to have a child in your marriage, in your relationship. We have the Eight of Swords, okay? It kind of represents that even though this person is having a child on you, it kind of represents that you're stuck with this person. This could be a very important soulmate for you. This could be a very important life partner, okay? And, and even though this person may be having a third party and they're waiting for this person to have a baby, this other individual, um, it kind of signifies that you're stuck and you can't really go nowhere. Maybe because you love this person with everything in you. Let's see what else we have. We have the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords could be that it is your greatest fear that this person is going to leave you for this other individual, okay? So that might be the reason why you are staying put. You're not going anywhere, even though you may be angry that this person has, you know, cheated on you or created infidelity. I don't feel that you're going anywhere because I feel like... Um, with this Eight of Swords, you don't want anyone else to take your position. So the Eight of Swords would be ill-dignified with that Six of Swords, okay? We have this, the, the Six of Cups. So this could represent um, another child that's coming in. Um, also, maybe you have one child with this person, and this could represent the second child. For some of you, it's going to represent the second child outside of your marriage. Okay, you really need to hit me up for a personal reading if this is you because this could mean uh, different things for different individuals. Also, I kind of get the sense that the person that your husband or wife may be having a child with could be somebody from their past, someone that they knew when, you know, like uh, many moons ago. We have the Four of Wands. This is just representing that you guys are married or live together, live in the same household or whatever, and then this infidelity was created. We have the Three of Cups. It just represents that there's more than one person. So it could even be that your husband or wife may be um, cheating on you with more than one person. It's not just the person that maybe they have a baby on the way with right now, but it could also be another person that's involved. So there's a lot of infidelity that's going on here. Um, it's not nothing that I have not dealt with before. Before you make a decision to leave your partner, you maybe should talk to me to see my views on it, you know, especially if you've been together for a long time, okay? We have the devil card here. This could also represent that the person that I'm talking to, even though I have the Queen of Pentacles, it could be a Capricorn. So if you are Gemini and you're connected to a Capricorn individual, it could represent that your Capricorn husband or wife has a child outside of your marriage, okay? Or is the one that is creating this infidelity. We have the star card here. I don't feel like you know right now that this person has a baby, but sooner or later it's going to come out to you. I feel like the person is still pregnant, so you really don't know about it right now. Um, you're still waiting for this to come out in the open. Also, it could represent that your husband or wife may be addicted to sex. There could be some foul play that's going on in your relationship. Um, um, when I see the devil card, the devil energy, on top of the fact that there's already a secret, there's already a child, it could also represent that there is some uh, shady behavior, maybe bisexuality, some sort of sexual addiction or something that your partner is into, okay? And the last card, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so this shit is going to come out. Um, even if it hasn't come out right now, just be patient. I feel like it will come out. As I always tell you guys, please don't just go cussing your husband out because you listen to Bella. Make sure you have your proof in front of you before you actually confront the person that you're connected to. Okay? But it is signifying that there's a lot of infidelity that's going on in your marriage. The overall message or energy is the high priestess. So there is another woman. There is another woman, another man, somebody that you cannot see. This person could live out of town in another state. And this could be the reason why you don't see this individual. But there is a child here. This is signifying that there is some sort of pregnancy. It has not come out in the open yet. It is still in the womb. So, you know, you got some time before this relationship actually fall apart. What you have in your biggest fear of this person leaving you, I don't feel like this person is going to leave you. You should stop thinking about it so that you don't create this and manifest this in the physical. 
but it also represents to me that maybe this is where your thoughts and your hopes and dream is, is that this person actually leave you, okay? And you could manifest this outwardly, so please be careful with the way you're thinking. If you don't trust your husband or your boyfriend or your girlfriend, you don't trust them and you are constantly accuse them of cheating, you're feeling sick to your stomach, you just believe that this person is cheating on you every day, all day. You might need to have a personal reading because you should not think like that because it kind of represents that you're going to create that. You're going to manifest that out in the physical. Okay? So, like, share, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. You can hit me up at allseeingitarot at gmail.com. I'll get you in for a personal reading um, if you're going through that. You need somebody to talk to, especially with those thoughts going wild like that. You need somebody to communicate with and to let that information out to. Before you actually go and put it on your wife or your husband, I would prefer you to communicate with me before you actually, you know, mess things up between you and your partner. Okay? I love you much. Until next month. Thank you, Gemini.